Well, this week our cool home feature is doing something a little different. Two interior designers are remaking the living room of a Phoenix patio home, and they're doing it all while the owner is at work. Mike Stevens of the Arizona Republic was there for this one-day transformation and shows us what it takes to make an ordinary room amazing. Meet Judith, designer to the impatient. In just eight hours, she and her team will bring this room from the 80s into the 21st century. 20 years ago, this was probably state of the art for interior design, but it's quite dated uh, right now. First problem, furniture too small for the room. Our objective is going to be is to bring everything up off the floor and bring the eye up visually, put everything into scale. The owner wants to keep this lamp, but beyond that... Well, just about everything else is going to go. With the owner away, the team gets to play, stripping the room of its dated design. Bye-bye, old ugly sofa. Then the makeover begins, starting with a new color. The soft salmon is quite outdated, and we're going to really warm this up, give this a really wonderful, warm, inviting feel. More help shows up at the door. Accessories, accessories, accessories. Big furniture's coming in. The big furniture's on its way. Accessories will be a key part of the transformation. After 13 hours of shopping, they have plenty. We always bring out more than we need. It's kind of like bringing the stores to us so that we have enough to pull from. What doesn't get used gets returned. While the wall niches get the faux treatment, another delivery. That, this is the only piece left that needs to come out first. But the delivery uncovers a problem. The sculpture for the fireplace won't look right over the faux finish they plan. You know what I'm thinking about doing is mixing what I have of this left with the, the cocoa. They decide to switch to a solid color for the chimney, keeping the faux look in the niches. I'm well, just kind of changing gears a little bit in midstream. Typical. <laughs> hmm. All right, can't wait to see how that turns out. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to show you how the room comes together with its new furniture and accessories, plus the owner's reaction when he gets home. I'm Mike Stevens of the Arizona Republic, and this week we're following two designers as they transform a room. Some of these accessories are going to stay, some are going to go. Find out coming up next. Welcome back. In the last hour, we introduced you to two interior designers remaking the living room of a Phoenix patio home all in a day while the owner was out at work. Well, now we've got the rest of the makeover, including the owner's reaction when he gets home. Mike Stevens of the Arizona Republic shows us the rest of this cool home transformation. Here's our problem, a living room stuck in the 80s with dated furniture too small for tall ceilings. The design and a day team cleared everything out, repainted and added faux finish. Now the new furniture is in and it's time to accessorize. Putting a room together I guess is kind of like a mobile that if you tweak one part of it that everything else is going to move around it and that's exactly what happens when you're trying to design a room. The team bought more than they need, trying things in different places until it just feels right. When the room is finished, what doesn't get used goes back to the store. They've made a decision on the area rug, so it's time to turn to the walls. The metal art over the fireplace is up. Now it's time to choose sconces. The dark, the dark, you win. So up they go, almost. You know what, wait, 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 maybe I might want it a little bit higher. The owner is on his way home, just enough time for some final adjusting. Okay, Mr. Richard, open your eyes. Ooh, what a, <laughs> what a change. What a change. The new colors bring the space to life. So do the bigger furnishings with new side tables and updated art, even a new friend. It's a pretty like, darn different looking house, don't you think? Remember what it looked like? Richard's friends do, and they like the changes. It's a lot more intimate looking, isn't it? I love the colors. Come here even more often. I love the colors. Absolutely. Can we, love like, the can you like, sit down? <laughs> I mean, you're not only transforming somebody's home, but you're transforming your, their life in the process. You're really giving them a better living environment. For 12 News Weekend Today, Mike Stevens of the Arizona Republic.